Hey there folks, Rel here. Today we're going to be doing a very quick breakdown of the grenade bandolier and the ammunition belt suit slots. Now this isn't going to be a full on review, or at least it won't be a very long one, because honestly these suit slots aren't uh, particularly complicated, but hopefully we can answer some questions and make it a little bit easier for you to choose whether or not you should use or invest your certs into either of them. The ammunition belt is a suit slot that costs 1, 10, 100, and 1000 certs to unlock. For the exception of the Heavy Assault, which only has two ranks of the ability available to them, and it costs 50 and 500 certs. It's worth noting that the ammunition belt will not give you additional underbarrel grenades, smoke, or shotgun ammo, and it also does not affect the fireworks launcher. You do, however, get an extra magazine per rank of the ability for both your primary and your secondary weapon. The amount of bonus ammunition the belt gives you is based on your current magazine size, meaning that if you're using a weapon with extended magazines, you are going to get that much additional ammo. So even though Heavy Assaults only get two ranks of the ammunition belt, they can still get loads of additional ammo if they are running extended mags. When it comes down to it, if you're planning on using the ammunition belt, you only have to ask yourself one question. Will I live long enough to use the extra ammo? You won't need to use all of it, obviously, but at least more than your normal ammo count would permit. Otherwise, there's really no point. Remember that you are sacrificing some very powerful suit slots for that additional ammunition. The ammo belt is generally a good purchase for solo players who die because they run out of ammo. So you're looking at uh, SMG infiltrators, sniping infiltrators, tower stomping light assaults, lone wolf heavies, basically any setup that doesn't have a whole lot of reserve ammunition and where you won't always have an engineer on hand to top you off. And I think it goes without saying, but the ammunition belt is not very useful for the engineer class. The grenade bandolier, on the other hand, is a much different animal. Like the ammunition belt, it does not give you additional underbarrel grenades or tool slots or uh, fireworks ammo, but what it does do is give you up to three additional grenades, meaning that you get four total. It does not, however, allow you to carry grenades of different types. It just gives you multiples of whichever grenade you have equipped in your loadout. Now the certification costs may look a little steep, but you do not need to max it out. Even one rank, even two ranks is very, very useful. It's going to cost 100, 150, and 500 certs for the max rank. When it comes down to actually using the grenade bandolier, if other players are like me, there's this sort of compulsion to just throw your grenades at the first thing that may or may not give you a kill. And that said, the grenade bandolier can give you up to four chances to maybe, maybe not give you those kills. But the downside to that train of thought is that you're going to be bleeding yourself of resources much more quickly than you realize. And if you run out of grenades and have the auto resupply option enabled, pulling your favorite class will automatically dump available resources into grenades to fill your loadout, which can be a painful mistake if you're trying to save up for something like a, a max suit or C4. But if you can shift away from the throw em if you got em sort of mentality and you play more tactically, then the grenade bandolier is going to open up a lot of doors to you. It gives you much more versatility on the battlefield regardless of which grenade you are using. So revive grenades are a bucket of certs with every throw, and if nothing else, the grenade bandolier will give you more flexibility to use them in the right situations instead of just uh, waiting on that pile of 20 corpses of people who are just camping a spawn room. This way at least you can do both. You can wait for that perfect pile of corpses and you can actually use them when you should be using them. For flashbangs you can actually supplement the weakness of the grenades since they're practically useless right now by tossing multiple grenades. And this is going to increase the amount of white that appears on the enemy screen and it's going to let you use flashbangs as more of a tool to feel out where your enemy is opposed to just going for that one big blind and then a C4 follow up. Concussion grenades are already the most powerful grenade in the game and become a whole new kind of destruction once you unlock a handful of them. And if you check out the footage in the background you could probably see what I'm talking about. Not the most efficient use, not the best example, but I couldn't have broken this little stalemate here without more than one. And as far as concussions go, they also have an additional effect that takes place when they are doubled up on. This is the only grenade in the game that does this. Now normally when you're hit by a single concussion grenade, your screen goes drunk. Your movement and your mouse sensitivity is slow, but if you get concussed twice, your controls are also reversed, so up is down, left is right, etc, etc. And 
And when it comes to the standard frag or the anti-vehicle grenade, just having multiples is going to allow you to pepper an area with multiple grenades at the same time. This can force the enemy to eat the effects of at least one of them. And this is especially useful when dealing with uh, a max unit that's trying to avoid getting hit by a grenade, uh, anti-vehicle grenades in particular. Not to mention, more firepower is good firepower. So whether this suit slot is going to be useful to you really comes down to one main question. How many resources do you have available and are willing to spend? If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. Like I said, it was extremely, extremely quick a breakdown of the two suit slots, but hopefully there was something worth thinking about in there. And if you have any useful advice about either the ammunition belt or the grenade bandolier suit slots, then do feel free to share that with everyone in the comments section down below. And lastly, I know that I did not address whether you should take this suit slot over another one, but really that's, um, that's something that we'll be talking about when I cover the other suit slots, and actually after they do get changed, which seems to be happening in coming patches. Thanks very much, folks. They're all signing off. Shield and generator.